I am Blanya, the god of horses, who grants quicker hooves and thicker hides. In northeast Hyrule, near a stable in Akala, I am waiting. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I just realized that I started this episode with my retainer in. One moment. Hopefully that made a couple of you shiver. I know it certainly makes my friends shiver when I, when I take it out. I don't know why. I don't actually get it. It's just, just plastic. I don't know what the problem is. <sighs> last time... What am I saying? Last time, we explored. We, we're going to explore this episode too. Although not in the way you think. Let's get started. So the Lindor Tower Shrine, beyond being a delicious chocolate that people enjoy, is clearly not correspondent to the light route, which means I missed a shrine, which you all were very, very astute to point out, and I'm always grateful for that. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna let this out now. I have, uh, already done this recording session. Uh, Windows is stupid. I hate Windows, uh, with the passion of a trillion suns. It cannot be understated how terrible Windows actually is. I am also thinking I'm going the wrong way. I am. Windows crashed at the end of a, well, not at the end, but towards the end of a two hour, uh, two and a half hour recording session, and I hate it. It was an amazing recording session. Uh, we went into the new area, and now I know everything. Yay, but it's fine, it's fine. I have a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can get into the, the rhythm of the roll of it again. Uh, and we're not gonna let that ruin our fun because I still can't find it. Where is it? Oh, it's down here because there is a Korok. There is a Bloopy there, and there is a Korok at the cave entrance, which is right behind me. You know, the worst part about this is that I'm gonna have to get all my Korok seeds again. Also, can I discover this? There it is. That took a second. All right. In the cave, you, can, you might have noticed that I did a quick change there. It's because I think we have a fight ahead of our, uh, ahead of us. Unless it's RNG, which this will be the confirmation. This will be a learning experience that I wouldn't otherwise get. Let's get this ready. Sure enough, not RNG. Hoo-hoo, yeah! Uh, let's get this going. Let's get this going with a Phantom Ganon fight. There's the shrine. <sighs> let's get some bombs thrown in there. Last time, I was not prepared. And I'm referring to the last time I encountered Phantom Ganon in the failed recording session. Not the last time I encountered him, although that's true too. Let's do this guy in. Hit me with your best shot, Phantom Ganon, if that is your real name. This is going much better. This went much better than the last time I fought him in the failed recording session. I didn't get a single flurry rush, but I, I just noticed this fight that if I let him rush me down, he is pretty telegraphed. Gloom sword. Wait, is that different from the sword that I have? Hold on. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's worse. Uh, hmm. Do I want a demon? You know what? I'm going to drop a demon king bow. That's not what I meant to do. And I'm going to pick up a demon king bow because as of right now, they're not terribly good. Um, I also know, strangely, there's no bubble frog in here. Oh, never mind. Never mind. There is. Sorry. I'm thinking of a different cave because, like I said, I went to a lot of them. <laughs> uh, let's make this shot like a god. Oh, yeah. And you might think, so did you make that shot in the failed recording session? No, no. I used wings for that. I am just a changed man. Let's get this shrine. Where is it? 
the Taki Ihaban Shrine. So I would like to think that I've learned something from my my failures. Uh, I'm going to start <laughs> ending the recording a after every every hour and a half, just to save it and get it out of the way, which is going to be a little bit annoying for me in editing, but my word is it going to save me work in the long run. Work and happiness, because I, I hate redoing Korok Seeds. I hate, I mean, I don't fudge blind reactions typically, but I, I hate those blind reactions being lost forever in a blind Let's Play. Okay. Let's get our orb and head to Southern Hyrule, where there's a monster blocking our path. I wonder. <laughs> Harmic tree, does your evil know no bounds? Face your divine punishment! That should have hurt him, come on. Standing between us and Southern Hyrule is a fire gliok on one of the hardest battlegrounds yet. This is our obstacle. And I, for one, think we are more than equipped to surpass it. Later. We are so, so well prepared for this. I have my new falcon bow. I have a 100 plus power spear. I have, I think, three weapons that are over 100 power. And until the lightning comes down to bear on me, I'm ready to use my 102 power scimitar of the seven as well as my triple attack up buff. I think we're more than equipped to get him down to half health in our first flurry. Back up. Get a rocket shield out. It looks like the lightning's canceled. Where do you think you're going? No, you're gonna come crashing back down to the ground. I mentioned it, that this was an obstacle. I think it's more of a hurdle. Because it wasn't too much difficulty to just casually leap over it. <sighs> this may be a re-recording session. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to try and have as much fun as humanly possible. What do I still have? Hold on. There we go. We have a couple Koroks that I need to grab. In Breath of the Wild, this little nook here was actually kind of special uh, because standing in it uh, removed the cell shading on Link. It was a, a strange mix of the transparencies uh, that they, they layer to make Link's look possible, uh, as well as some improperly modeled um, transparent wet texture on, on the rock wall, and the result was that Link standing in it kind of looked like he was from Skyward Sword, which is kind of cool. Uh, where on earth is this? Oh, it's right there. I love how I'm redoing this recording session. The, the re- or the failed recording session was literally yesterday. I recorded it the day after Labor Day, uh, the day after my birthday, the day I was to be wed, and now I'm recording it on my ex's birthday. Yay! Trauma! Yay! The reason why I'm doing the channel again. Sweet! I love it. Uh, there's a Korok over here. And the reason why I'm showing this particular Korok, I guess I showed that one too, is because... There's stuff to explore over... over yonder, over on those aisles. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I know. I, I understand. I understand. I forgot that you could just grab these guys uh, without initiating dialogue. That's kind of strange, but I suppose it makes sense. One good thing about re-recording a recording session like this is that I get to trim out a lot of the fat. Uh, for example, there 
at one point I kind of got lost over over there because there is an inlet. I didn't mean to fly this low. I also didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's awkward. Uh, yeah, we'll release it now. It should. <sighs> there, the last couple of inches to the, to the end of the line. <sighs> But as I was saying, I got lost over there. And while I talked about a lot of cool stuff, and I actually was going to keep that entire segment, there aren't any shrines over there, which ultimately is the theme of this episode. The exploration can come after we, uh, after we get the tower, which I will also get this recording session. And I will be sure to tell you when, uh, when we've hit the point where it's become blind again, or whenever I hit a point that's blind. It, I think the thing that I... I regret the most about the lost recording session is this exact tree right here. And I don't know if my plane is going to cut down. It better not. This exact tree is very special in the failed recording. Oh my word. And it's special again because I can't <laughs> climb it. Uh, I, I climbed to the top of this, I got the Korok, and then the nanosecond I was no longer in this cutscene, I was struck by lightning and I died. And then, so obviously I died and I had to, Link, what is wrong with this tree? My goodness. So then I picked back up, obviously before having gotten the Korok seed, climbed the tree again, got the Korok, and now I was like, just, I, I saw some lightning hit, strike in the distance, I go, just you wait, just you wait. There's going to be another one in three, two, and I, I did the cutscene and I jumped off and it, it was like, not the frame, but the same quarter second that I jumped off, the tree was struck by lightning and I survived. I, I, do I actually dodged lightning. It was so cool. And I, that's what I hate about moments like this is you lose those moments and you can never get them back. It's not genuine anymore. Oh well. Let's go inside here because I know that this exists and we're going to get this out of the way. It also is going to lead us to a shrine. Discovery. Hylia, Lake Hylia Chasm. And I need to equip some glow stuff. Whew. Man, that ground comes up quick. Okay, where I'm trying to go, I just need a marker to the... I guess I don't need that. I have a fixed map. Unfortunately... I've already explored this area, and so I know that there is absolutely nothing here. Again, I am sorry, there's nothing I can do. I hate it, but that's just kind of the world we live in. Windows is awful, and every single day, uh, the stability of our computers gets worse. I mean, it was just... Just gonna uh, casually drive between you guys. I I also, I guess it's hard for you guys to tell what's going on, uh, but in the failed recording session, I flew through here. <laughs> I managed to get a plane through here and fly, which is crazy because it gets really tight in some spots. Uh, from like. CrowdStrike to Windows just randomly deciding to update. I don't know if I'm going to lose this recording session as well. I don't know. It's up to Windows. It's up to it's up to Bill Gates. It's like, yeah. why? Why can't we just have computers that A, work properly, B, computers that when they don't work properly, they, they give you a, an intelligent dump saying why they didn't work. Like why? I don't I don't understand. Why does it have to be so so difficult? Oh, you know what? While we're walking through here, I think this is a good opportunity for me to talk about my inventory. Uh, I did a lot of farming in between episodes uh, because I realized that I was low on weapons and I didn't want to farm them. I wanted to uh, buy them and I wanted to go into this new area with a sense of accomplishment, a sense of even though it was purchased, a sense of having been upgraded. And so I, I went and bought some weapons. I fused a bunch. I, having been in uh, in Gerudo early game, really made me take strong fusion as a buff for granted. Because I mean, look at this: 102, uh, 108, 100, or uh, 86. I decided uh, since there is a trade-off with these Gerudo weapons of durability, I thought, you know what? I have a spare diamond laying around. I actually had three, and so I I spent one of them. 
And I, I got this. So we're going to see how strong this thing is. In theory, it might be the perfect balance of... I need to go up, actually. And now that I'm looking at this... Does it not look... Almost like there might be something hidden up here. Like, this goes to the ceiling. That would be cool. It would also be something I haven't uh, experienced. But I I kind of want to... Oh, I may I probably shouldn't ascend through that. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll still get the thumbnail. Uh, there was a really cool moment. Oh, I finally use my stamina. There's a really cool moment that the devs set up in Lake Hylia, and I don't want to ruin it, but we're we're going to get an opportunity to. In fact, it might actually be better this way. So let's climb up to the top, and I can show you what I'm talking about. It looks like that entire area up there is a no-no zone for Ascend, so we're going to have to enter it the cool way by, by necessity. No complaints here. Now, one thing I would like to avoid from last recording session is the amount of times I had to warp to this stupid shrine and walk south because, well, you'll see why. You'll see why. So I'm going to learn from my mistakes, and we're going to go up the path. Uh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. We're going to go up the path and take a right. Is it just me, or is it raining a lot more in this area? I don't actually know if that's the case, but it feels like every other weather event is rain. Or lightning. Or both. Okay, unfortunately this time I didn't mark the... Oh, I guess the tower is right there. I don't need to mark it. Uh, are there any shrines that I'm missing? I don't think so. I will go off the beaten path a little bit for those, but... I, th I really just kind of want to speed run to the content that you know, is fresh to me. Or at least the content I know where, you know, there is there is content. Ooh, let's not kill our horse. That would be content. You guys want me to kill my horse? I could. Or... <laughs> uh, do you guys want me to kill my horse? I could. It runs into shock fruit. Uh-oh. Get me over there. Uh, that's not really the weapon I wanted for that. But it'll work. But it'll work. Please don't kill me! Die! Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, actor limit? Did you see those fire fruit despawn? We just... We just saw the, um... The limit of the game right before our eyes. That was crazy. That was crazier than the boss fight. Okay, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Let's... While I'm off doing things, have like 400 apples. You you deserve it, buddy. I'd rather not kill my horse. At least not to electricity. That, that, uh... is a bit of a nerve waiting be, to be struck still. And there we have it, the tower! Should just be a simple matter of, of waltzing inside and getting a good view of the of the land, the Popla Foothills Skyview Tower with a weird well right next to it. Certainly that's not important at all. Alright, let's stand here and get tentacle Huh. I wonder if uh Oh actually I had never seen that text box before. I I'm obviously playing dumb. We need to go inside here. 